Greetings Wastelanders, welcome to the Hobbit Hole. This is Mad Hobbit here. Today we're going to be covering acid. There are two methods of farming acid. One, from creature spawns. Two, from junk. We're going to focus today on creature spawns. I'm going to show you where to go and what to look for on creatures to get the acid that you so need. So, if you find this guide helpful, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and definitely turn on that bell. Because we're about to jump right into this. Alright, let's go. Our first stop, located just north of the vault, is Hemlock Holes. It's right here in Toxic Valley. Now, if you choose, you can take this workshop. It has three acid nodes in it and produce about 30 per half hour, 60 per hour. But we're focused on creatures. Now, also here is a static spawn for a Grafton monster. He has acid on him, and also two Snallygassers. They also have acid. Now, the Snallygassers is a 50-50 chance. Sometimes you'll get Snallygassers, sometimes you'll get Super Mutants. Now, if you get Super Mutants, you can either server hop or just come back in a few minutes, kill the Super Mutants, and come back, and the Snallys will respawn. Now, the Grafton Monster actually has a real high spawn rate here, so... If you hang around for about maybe 10 minutes, it'll respawn as well. So as you can see, both contain acid and also on the grafted monster, you can get tar and a little adhesive. Another thing I wanted to point out is right next to the vertebrate where the Snallygassers spawn, you can also find it's one of two spawns on the map for a 50 cal machine gun. So if you're looking for a scrap on that, there you go. While you're here, you might as well go ahead and rob the hemlock holes nodes. I meant you're here. Now, I want to go a little bit briefly into what acid is used for. It's used for smelting. It's used for making gunpowder. It's used for fuel. It's used in some food ingredients, like lemonade, perchance. And also, it's used for fuel for flamers, so, yeah, very important stuff, I mean, you go through it like crazy, especially if you are a heavy weapons build or a commando build, you definitely need that to make ammo. Alright, let's move on to the next place. Staying in Toxic Valley, we're going to hit up Kitty Corner. Alright. Now, this place has a chance to spawn bloat flies, sting wings, red scorpions, snallygasters. Now, there is one snallygaster that's an, always a static spawn here. Today, I just happen to have gotten snallygasters. Also available in this location is the Pioneer Scouts daily tidy up. You can use that to uh, get badges or XP or script, I believe. And it's a nice little way to get get a little extra XP. Just talk to this guy right here. We're not worried about that today. We're just going to keep on killing Snallies. Snallies, Snallies, Snallies. Now the static spawn I mentioned before is out here on this island. You're always going to find this guy out here. Everything else is just bonus. Alright. 
let's get ready to move on to the next section. Our next location is Filippi Cemetery. It's a, this is a quick one. Now, it's located also, it's kind of Toxic Valley, Savage Divide-ish. It's kind of in the border of them. But if you go straight to the stupid mole rats. If you go straight to the back parking lot, then you'll find a Yagwai here. Which I just kind of launch way over there. <laughs> anyway. So, you'll find a Yagwai here. It's 100% spawn. You can, if it's not here, you can server hop or come back in about 30 minutes and it'll respawn. And, yeah, great way to get Yagwai ribs. Maps eh, and acid. That being said, oh, also, if you're level 12 or around that, this is also a good place to get your first black powder rifles and weapons. Onward we go. The next location we're going to is Freddy Fears House of Scares. We're actually going to go northeast of it to a float fly nest. Now, you'll notice that I do have the daily mission stings and things up. Now, this gives you a quick map reference to three different static spawns that produce acid. The bloat fly glands produce two acid apiece. The stingwing bars produce acid, as well as the blood bug proboscis. Also, Fre Freddy, Freddy Fears is also a good place. To, uh, you'll you'll get a legendary here. I get maybe one one out of five times coming here. But yeah, you can utilize Stings and Things as a nice little map reference for a lot of static bug spawns. And as we get closer to this float fly nest, you're going to want to stay to the east of it. What I like to do is I like to come in from the east over here in this direction. I try to lure the bloat flies into this clearing right here because when blow flies die they explode. Uh, also something to point out you also get honey beasts here so you can get pick up some honey and adhesive here as well. But yeah just go around collecting the bloat fly glands and as I'll show you in a minute they all produce Two acid apiece. You'll notice that sometimes that I will take a minute to kind of twice and three times over stuff. Now, especially with bloat flies, because you get all these little pieces laying everywhere, and you want to get Make sure you get everything because otherwise you'll miss a gland and that's too acid. Now what I usually do is I'll wait till it become they become meat piles and then it makes it easier. And like I said, the honey beasts are good for honey and excess excess adhesive. There's also some skeletons and skulls and bone parts laying around for if you need bone shards. So that being said, let's just move on to the next location, shall we? Next up on our list is the South Hampton Estates. 
Now, this is a uh, this is where a static blood bug, hello guy, spawn is. Now, blood bugs are real good because it's really easy to get the proboscis off of them. And as I mentioned before, each proboscis is two acid, so blood bugs are fun in a way. Especially if you get a little horde of them, they're really great because you can actually gain a lot of acid real quick. This is now another thing to note about this location is you also have two possible bobblehead spawns here. I've every time I come here, I think one out of three times I get a bobblehead. One is on that on the mattress to the right. It'll spawn right at the top of it. Right by the pillow, right there. And the other place is if you go out into the barn. Oh, and whenever you go into barns. And look around. Sometimes you'll find fertilizer bags. They also produce acid. But I digress. There's the other bobblehead spawn. You see this time I got lock picking. Last time I got heavy guns. Now the problem with blood bugs is sometimes you hear them and you can't see them. That does get annoying. But there should be a total of five here. So, that being said, let's head to the next location. The next stop brings us to Dolly Sides. In case you don't know, this is where you can pick up the daily stings and things. Which, as you can see in the top right hand corner of my screen, I actually utilize it. Now, here you find ticks and Yogwai as the static spawn. You have two Yogwais. You have a Dusky in the middle of the road here, and then you cut across the field, and you'll find a little trail, and that's where you'll find a glowing Yogwai. Sometimes you get three Yogwai here. Yeah, watch out for the roots. They like to hold on to you. But you also find a total of seven ticks here in case you need to make stem packs or blood packs or even glowing blood packs. Ticks are real good for it. And another thing about the Yagwais is they also have springs on them. So win-win. Get acid, springs, all in one spot. Now, I would always advise checking out the the other cabins here. There's one up here, which in it you can find a the tattered mole rat mascot costume. But you'll sometimes find blood bugs and sting wings and bloat flies inside. So it's real good to check out go ahead and check out the houses and also check out the workshop because sometimes you get acid producers there as well. Next stop is Toxic Larry's Meet and Go. Now, you spawn here, you get three Snallygasters every time. They're just wait, sitting there waiting on you to go. Now, this is a little side quest for the Imposter Sheep Squatch. Um, this is where you get a recipe, I believe. But, neat little location. Um, it got added in with the laying low quest as well as and also a good place if you just need meat you've got rad stag here you've got cat meat if you use spoiled meat for I don't know maybe contracting diseases if you're carrying plague bearer then you can find it here now our next location is Big B's Rest Stop. Now 
you'll notice that I'm using again the stings and things. This is a static spawn for sting wings. Now, sting wings are a little bit harder because they're very greedy with their stingers. So, just kind of got to keep trying at them. And if you don't get any, it's not really a big loss because they only produce one acid per sting wing stinger. But, little quick stop. Got three sting wings here. I try to kill them while they're not over the water because they become very difficult to find. And nine times out of ten, I'm here at night. I don't know why, but it just ends up that way. So, yeah. Quick stop. Next stop we have Tanagra Town. That's right, it's just southeast of the abandoned waste dump. Parkour capital of the world. Now, upon spawning here, you're going to either come across a death claw or a mega slot. So, death claws are good for gears and black titanium. Mega slots are good for screws. So, depending on your needs. But, you're always going to find one or the other here. Now, if you take the path that I'm about to take up the tree and then try not to fall off because it is very tricky and I've done it many times. Now, we're going to follow this pipe up to the top here. And right over here, you're going to find a cave. Now, in this cave is a nest of cave crickets. There's probably about 10 or 11. There, there spawns here between 8 and 11 cave crickets. And it's a static spawn. I know a lot of people that will just come here, kill the crickets, and server hop here. I mean, it's a great source for acid. And each cave cricket has about eight acid on them, so somewhere between five to eight acid. And they just keep coming. Also, another thing to point out in this cave, if you are looking for gold, or crystal ore it's plentiful here um, I would also recommend using your excavator power armor if you're going to get get from these veins because as I've mentioned in the steel and lead video that I did it quadruples your yield so instead of one you'll get four So, yep, yeah, we're just going to keep killing crickets and collecting acid from these guys. Our next location takes us to the Cranberry Bog. We are at Pylon X3. It is just south, it is, well, a little bit southeast of Abandoned Bog Town. 
Now abandoned bog town also has an acid node in it, so you can you can claim that workshop and put a r extractor on the on the node and gather acid for the next couple of hours until someone decides to take it from you. Now you'll always have two snally gasters here. Sometimes you'll have three, and sometimes when you come here. The Snallygasters will actually be the mobs in the in Bogtown. I believe on this day we actually had ghouls and a Wendigo. So we're just gonna clear those out. But yeah, I, I would always advise, you know, checking out what's guarding the workshops because Sometimes you get a little bonus kick. Now going full circle, I bring you to Charleston Station. Now in Charleston, there's actually two Snally Gasters and two Grafton Monsters. So I like to start at the station and work my way to the capital. And also, if you don't know about it yet, then there's a responder vendor bot that spawns, and how you get it to spawn is you come to the second bridge that is located right here, and then you backtrack back to the station. In this particular time, we got the responder iBot, which does us no good. But he's kind of interesting to listen to sometimes. You also get a few other random encounters here, such as the Pied Piper, which is an iBot that is playing flute music as while well, he's being followed by a little herd of rats, rad rats, and a couple other interesting things. I'm actually going to do a video on the responder bot and multiple spawns for it. So stay tuned. Now coming up here just past this bus or this monorail you're going to find the first Snallygaster. Give you a little look around let you see. Apparently I'm getting hit by something but I don't know. But he's right over here by this bridge. Now as far as mobs on the bridge, you usually get super mutants or scorched. But here's the Snally. You already seen that so that's one Snally and one Grafton monster. Now there's a couple of places that are very interesting in Charleston. You have the capital, which is a good XP farm and also a good legendary farm. And you have the Charleston Herald, which is good for screws. You can get probably about 25 screws there. But yeah, just kind of following the riverbed here, the dried up river. And we're going to come across our second Snally and then uh, just behind the capital we will come across the other Grafton monster. Now here we are just behind the capital just to the right of the little bus over there you got the Snally Gaster and just up here around the corner we'll have the Grafton monster and that's the end of the route because and after you do this route you'll have t at least 200 to I've done this route and gotten all the right stuff and ended up with uh, about 280 acid and then the good thing about this is you can also 
server hop, do it all over again, and then double up. So, hope this helped. If you found if you found this information useful, then hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and definitely hit the hit the notifications so you get all of our coming up content. Oh, this is Mad Hobbit saying adios.